Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. Today, we're setting up a 100-gallon stock tank. It's a Rubbermaid stock tank. I found it in my backyard. My parents used to use it for parties and stuff. So I'm going to wash that thing down and set it up for Casey because... And well, I'm just going to set it up for Casey for now because she looks bored and I have nothing to do. But then in the future, for a rigid slider that I'm getting in a couple months. I'm gonna put her or him in there because you know registered sliders get big. So, yeah, I'm just setting that up today. I'll keep Casey in it for the time being. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Another reason I'm doing it is because Casey likes more water and her tank I can't put a lot of water in because it's a little flimsy. So, yeah, I'm going to start doing that. But for now, I think I'm going to go check up on my turtles. Okay, guys. First, we're checking up on Leo. He's basking like a little camouflaged warrior. Leo's doing great. He's been eating. Um, I've got him to eat out of my hand a little bit. And, uh, yeah, he's just doing great. He doesn't go into his shell when I pick him up, which is great. I added a little more water to his tank. There's a little bit of bending on the tub but nothing i need to worry about casey is also doing great there's a also a little bit of water bending on her tub i put a hiding spot in there is she in there right now yes she is you can't see her in there so she used to really like that thing but her tank was too small for me to have it in there so yeah but today i'm moving her into a big stock tank in my backyard that i'm gonna go show you all right guys we're in my backyard I'm gonna go show you this thing. Maybe I'll get it out. It's behind the hot tub right now. One future thing I wanna do, since I have a fenced off backyard, a really big backyard, a lot of grass, when I get a tortoise in a couple of years probably. Um, but I'm getting a tortoise before I move out for college. So that's gonna be cool. Cause my friend, I'm letting my friend grow his out. And he says he only wants it when it's a baby. Cause he doesn't have room to take care of it. In uh, his backyard, so. This thing isn't very deep, which is a problem. But here is the 100 gallon tank. Um, I'm gonna wipe this dust off my hand. But, yeah, I think I'm going to move her into this. Because why not? The only thing is, since it's a shallow, she might be able to crawl out of it. So now I'm thinking this might not be a great idea. I'm going to find a different one. <laughs> but this is a maybe. If I can figure out a way for her not to climb out from the basking spot, this is definitely a possibility. All right, well, I couldn't find a deeper tub for her, but I'm gonna have to move her to this one because there is a way I could block her from getting out. I have the lid with the dual lamp fixture and I'm used to stop her from getting out and getting herself into trouble and stuff. And, um, you know, like that lid will go over the top of the basking area so she won't be able to get out. This is going to work out really well because when I get the red-eared slider, I'm going to need to put him or her in the bigger tub until I can get a bigger tank for that turtle. So that's going to be cool. And one thing I've been doing with Casey that's really funny, I've been letting her walk around the room for like 30 minutes every day. Trying to get, because so, she doesn't get up and bask enough, so... I just, I, because there's a good amount of sunlight that get, gets in here. So I've just been letting her walk around and get some of that natural sunlight. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you her in a second. I think she's about to move around. You can see her over there right now. Just waiting to walk around. The only place I'm worried about her going is back there with all the cords and chewing on them. Which I don't think will happen. I'm about to get on Zoom for school, but 
I'm just letting her kind of walk around. I'll just try to get her on camera walking around. It's so funny the way she walks. Come here. She's staring at me, bruh. Huh? That's funny, bro. That's hilarious. Oh, here she goes. Her show growth is doing really well. God. I haven't really looked at her show a lot lately. Here she goes. How funny it is when she walks. Does she know that's her tub? I wonder. <laughs> well, yeah, I've just been doing this a little bit every day. Um, I think she's trying to get behind her tub. Could she get behind her? Oh my god, she fat behind her tub. I'm going to go get her out from back there. Alright guys, it's time to start the process. I'm spraying this thing down with the hose and washing it down with some dish soup. So, I guess I'll just do a time lapse. Yeah, I'm just going to do a time lapse of this. Um, This definitely looks like it'll work. Like, almost perfectly. Very Casey, so... Start this process. I'm gonna start this process and uh, I'll just time lapse it, I guess. All right, well, I just got all the yuck, yucky gross stuff out of the tub. And um, it's about ready to go upstairs. It looks kind of ugly from the outside, though. So in the future, I'm going to definitely, you know, get it looking a little better. But for now, I'm going to take it upstairs to my room, let it dry off. I'm not going to keep it in the room I have Leo in and where Casey is right now because... I don't know, I want to have them spread out in more variety. But as of now, I've got it done. I'm going to turn off the hose, clean up, and I'm going to take the tub upstairs. Alright guys, I finished the um, tub. It looks great. I don't have any substrate in there right now, which I do want to put in in the future. She left a couple pieces of food left over, so I'm going to take those out and then I'll show you the tank. Okay, here is the tank. It's looking great. We got the basking spot. I did switch their heat lamps, and I took the daylight lamp for Casey. And Leah's is looking good, too. It's still a little darker than it was before, which is okay. Um, it's not a big difference. He's still loving basking. He's doing great. And then this tub is really short, as you can see, but... It's going to do just fine because Casey isn't, you know, the biggest swimmer. But she is doing great in here. She's been here for about two hours. She was swimming around a little bit. She basked, which is great. I'm going to try to get her to eat real quick and then just see what's up. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you how much better. Ignore the clothes on the floor. I just want to show you how much better this tub looks now than it did before like it's not an eyesore anymore like i actually think it looks really good i put some plants on this lid give it like a more natural look i might put some behind there drooping in but yeah i think this looks a lot better especially from the top like look at the reflections i'm definitely going to keep this bare bottom just because the reflection looks cool and it's not slippery she can grip onto it like this compared to this it just looks so much better. I put these mats in front of their um, things. I definitely need to get another daylight lamp for Leo. Other than that, he's big chilling. I wonder if you can even see him, but yeah, th I think this just looks so much better than, than it did before. It's a lot more lit up now, too. 
I switched their heat lens. I think I already said that, but I just like how this looks. I'm gonna put some plants back there. Just give it a more natural look. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. All right guys, uh, it's the next day. I just moved Leo into the 100 gallon stock tank because I I don't know, I felt like it. I put the, um, the bigger filter in the 100 gallon. I put a bunch of plants in here for Leo. KCD doesn't even seem to be showing interest in him right now, which is good. They kind of each are staying on their own halves of the tank. So that's cool. Um, I will show you guys them in a second. I'm going to keep Leo's tank open and running with a um, just a little filter Casey had. Just in case Casey gets aggressive, I'm going to need to move Leo back. So that's what I did right now because why not? I felt like I wanted to put them together because it looks cooler to have all the turtles in there and all the plants and stuff. So here you go. Alright guys, this is what the tank's looking like right now. I think I'm going to keep a bare bottom because the reflection. There's Leo. And Casey's right there. So they're both doing great. Casey hasn't shown any interest in Leo yet. So that's good. Leo's not being bothered. Uh, I am going to be checking on them a lot. And days when I'm not home, while Leo's still this young, I think I'm definitely going to be... Uh, I'll put Leo back in his tank. For the time being, where I'm going. Or I'll make like a little barrier so they can't cross the tank. I don't know. I'll, I'll find out something, but I think this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Like, whenever you walk in, it just it looks better than it did before. That light doesn't look very good, but I had plants on it, as you can see. So it looks a little better. I added plants from the back wall coming down in. But yeah, I'm just really happy with how this turned out. I'm glad I did this. Um, Leo's tank's just chilling over here. I'm going to leave it ready just in case I need to put him in here anytime. So that's basically what I did. I'm going to start cleaning out Casey's old tub to just free up some space for future turtles or fish or anything like that. Alright guys, I'm going to end off the video here. I did add some pebbles. They don't cover the whole tank, but it gets in the more important spots, you know. But this is their new 100-gallon community tank. Um, This is an experiment weekend. If, if it goes well, like this whole weekend, I'm going to leave them here permanently. I haven't moved Leo's tank out yet because just in case... They start acting up, you know, I'll have to move them. But Casey is doing great. Leo is doing great. I'm going to end off the video here. Have a good day, I guess. See ya. All right, guys, so I'm with Ryan. And uh, we're looking at his snakes snake because snakes. we didn't get to do this last video. Snakey snakes. Here's Don't his look at my hair. starter snake uh, pepper. Yeah, good job remembering. He's a little baby. And he has one more. I'm going to switch the camera angle because I hate recording like this. And this is parsley. What's this one? Is this the normal garter snake? Yeah, he's just a normal checkered. Dude, the one thing I don't like about snakes is their tongue, dude. That's fair. And I show him the really pretty the snake. Really pretty one. He's got three snakes. I'm jealous. Hey, you're about to get three turtles. Yeah, bruh. Don't pay attention to my hair. It just got done and I hate it. When your barber doesn't love you. And then here is... The big this. albino sun-kissed corn snake. Who is, who is good girl? Not you. She's so soft. Yeah, she doesn't have keeled scales like the other one. I'll put I'll put a definition of keeled scales in, in like, in what, the Yeah, I'll put text. on the screen, right, yes. right, right here. Spiders. I know he doesn't like spiders. I do. I, and they're cool to me. Here is Here's Flair. the fear. Wait, let me go turn on the light. Yeah. A bearded dragon is definitely a future pet for your boy.
He's a good boy. We just kind of disturbed him. That's why he's all dark. They're like lap dogs. <laughs> when they bob, it's so funny, dude. They do. <laughs> they just like... Just imagine a field of bo uh, bobbing bearded dragons. <laughs> like just an army. Yeah. Good boy. Well, I remember when you first got him, he was so tiny. He was... I just saw a picture of when we first got him yesterday. He was so little. He was like this big. Yeah. That man was small. How big is his enclosure? Like, he's a... For this is a 40-gallon. Yeah. This... The one with the garter snakes are 40-gallon. The one with the corn is snake. That a, is, that, is that a long or what? A what? This? Yeah, it's like a 40-gallon long or what? Oh, a 40-gallon, yeah. yeah. Just a 40-gallon overall terrarium, not high or... Shorty, light skin, tiny, not as fat. I need your number and that's that, that's that.